At Circus Mojo in Ludlow today, a real clown tried to teach an old clown new tricks, and it just didn't work. Paul Miller was a touring Ringling Brothers clown for years and studied and respects the art form. The creepy clowns making news don't bother him, but he calls their ploy a cheap shot. Any clown can stand there in the forest and, uh, but, you know, they don't have the skills to actually, you know, juggle the knives, okay? So this is a little bit different, okay? But anybody can dress up and scare people, but they're posers, they're phonies. The phony clowns have shown up in the South and reportedly tried to lure children into the woods. A woman in Franklin, Ohio, called police on Tuesday, claiming a clown came after her. So I lived up a balcony, and right before I got to the steps, it ran around the side of the building, and I just ran as fast as I could up into the balcony and shut my door. Also on Tuesday, more than half the students in Gallatin County stayed home after a social media threat tied to a clown. Wednesday, a clown Facebook post prompted police to watch the buses coming into the Holmes campus in Covington. Except for the incident in Franklin, none of these situations have actually involved anyone dressed up like a clown. They've all been social media pranks, online ruses, but they've made a mark. I don't want to be discriminated against. Not all clowns are the same. For the last 10 years, Gretchen Cox has entertained at parties in Coney Island as her character, Cookie the Clown. Makes me nervous when I go on a birthday party this weekend. Am I going to be, are people going to be frightened of me if I you know, have to stop and get gas. It probably depends on whether you pull out a knife or a balloon animal or act like a clown, not a creep. Joe Webb, Local 12 News.